ma'am, miss, madam, madam. I'm more scared than a vampire reading a garlic knots recipe. This isn't even the ick. This is the... <laughs> the... Ma'am, ma'am. Nuh-uh. This man is Wimbledon, okay? Serve him a breakup. Let somebody else court you. Other tennis puns. Girls same age. Girls younger than me. Hey, fellas. Dudes. Male trio. Did someone lend y'all a digital clock? Because you're on borrowed time. Take this down before the law does. This is why men can cheat and women can't. Men and women have two different definitions of what being loyal means. Sir. Sir. I am more confused than a cat at a laser show. Webster doesn't have two different definitions of loyal. What, what are you making your own dictionary? What's it called, Fipster? <laughs> hey, fella, fella. I am more nervous than a worm in a hallway full of hooks. This is appalling. Where is your mother, young man? Actually, no, where is your mother? Is she, is she okay? <laughs> I am more perplexed than a zebra meeting a referee. Why are you not calling him your ex? He was in your mother's pink canoe. Let it all go. If I let it all go, it's all. Hey, folks. Folks. I am more confused than a homeless man on house arrest. Damn, your own mother has touched that eggplant emoji. <laughs> you okay? Just don't look down. Ma'am. 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 More like buy him, Sky. Make him face his fear of divorce papers and say toodles. This is weird. Madam, madam, alert, alert. I'm sweating harder than a mime performing a monologue. 17? I don't even know 17 people. When's the Dateline episode? I have Peacock. Red flag in the play, purposely pissing off your spouse on wedding day. Makes about as much sense as performing CPR to salmon. What's your age? 19. 29. I like them young. Oh boy, we've got a live one. When they're 19, you can train them. <laughs> Fella, I am more nervous than a blowfish in a basement full of balloons. Train? What, for what? A triathlon? I feel like your boyfriend is misogynistic. No, I'm fine with our relationship, but it has worked for us. That doesn't even answer the question. Oh God, she doesn't even know what misogyny means yet. Very young, so you know, you can influence them and train them to be the, the, the perfect woman for you. Ma'am, madam, do what I am doing right now. I, my age are not like mature enough. Would guys your age be able to provide the same things that he provide for you right now? Of course not. Of course not. Why are we talking about providing already? Your parents probably still do that for you. Also, men your age can't provide because they have class in the morning. What's the latest you want to have kids? Biology gives women up, up to about the age of 27. So I say we got we got about eight years in it. And what? Befuddled heel click. That is not true. Who taught your biology class, Professor DiCaprio? Listen, young lady, I am being silly, I know, and I don't know your situation. I don't know who you are. Maybe you're in a position where you have to grow up quickly, but this is not growth, okay? This is grooming. Please, say toodles. <laughs> Oh no, oh dear. Hey guy, madam, I am more nervous than a salmon and a bear hug. What is this? More like bride and groomer. <laughs> There's a lot that's like asked of a man. Like first dates are like <laughs> nightmares. <laughs> they got like a checkbox, like are you gonna pick me up? Are you gonna, hold, are you gonna walk on the outside of the sidewalk? Are you gonna open the door? Oh, fella. Male constituent. Are you gonna pull out the seed? Are you gonna pay for the meal? Are you gonna be interesting during the dinner? I am more annoyed than Pennywise chasing down Usain Bolt in a raincoat. You have beef with being fun? Are you gonna be funny during the dinner? And then when you walk home, are you gonna drop me off? Are you gonna watch me walk inside? And These are basic manners. Can we put a grown up in cotillion? It's like trying to defuse a bomb. Like if you <laughs> think and you're like one little thing and you're just done. <laughs> Look, I'm no expert and I make plenty of mistakes in my relationship. I'm just a dude with a flag and opinions. But if it's the right person, you don't have to be perfect. You just have to be honest and you have to open doors for them and stuff. I, I can't believe I have to say that. <laughs> so 
I love when girls are like, ugh, don't talk to me. I have a boyfriend of five years. Where is your ring? Hey, guy! Hey, guy! Fella! Did she send it in green text? Because you didn't get the message. You looking for harassment charges, man? This means someone wants you to get away from them, okay? Either read between the lines or look between the bars. That was cool. Ma'am! My sister in Christ! I am more confused than a zebra bumping into Beetlejuice. What the hell was that for, fella? Bombastic side-eye! You seem like an Oakley sunglasses kind of guy. What if, for three months, you've been saving up for the hot new aviators of the summer, and you walk out of that sunglass hut feeling like a million bucks, and then you get home, and just as you're about to slide those puppies over your pupils for the first time, your wife throws them on the ground. You'd be punching more than puzzles, wouldn't you? Time to fire up the Xerox machine, folks. That divorce paperwork, it better be piping hot by the time I cut this camera off. My work here is done. Whose is this? Is this an extra one? No, that's mine. <laughs> Why is it empty? I don't know. Santa didn't come for me. Some men aren't looking for anything logical, like thoughtfulness. They can't be changed, reasoned, or negotiated with. Some men just want to let their red flags fly. Santa, pause! So you got your kid's stockings. You even got yourself one, but not your wife? What? Oh, you're getting more than a sock full of Kingsfords this year, my friend. You're getting undies brimming with St. Nick's caca coals. But wait, I actually did some research for you and I found some mid-30s white wife stocking stuffer ideas. Number one, neck and shoulder heating pad. That's where she carries all the uh, stress that you give her. Candles with sassy quotes on them. Wool socks that look like stockings. Throw pillows with emotion and cussing. And this very cute iced coffee can. They love portable Java with a straw and so do I. Anyway, better luck next year if you even make it that far. So. Oh no, oh dear. Hey guy, madam, I am more nervous than a salmon in a bear hug. What is this? More like bride and groomer. <laughs> man, she never had a love like mine. Yeah. But man, I ain't never seen her ass like- Hey ma'am, madam. I am more nervous than a cat watching their owner in a laser tag tournament. If you're looking for some, oh my God, so me comments, you're not gonna get them, okay? This isn't relatable. But, well, unless you live in Arkansas, like I do, or Alabama, so. Are you for real right now? <coughs> Ma'am, get him an iPad. He's doing the tablet toddler cough. Unreal. <laughs> Unreal. This can't be real. I am more confused than a turd waiting to be flushed on a tilt-a-whirl. Is this an adult? Oh. I'm getting no spit on my carpet. Wow, bro, I didn't do nothing. What? You did someone. And made someone. <laughs> what the f Horrified you click! I need some medicine. Can you take me to the hospital? Oh, what kind of medication do you need? Hydrocodone? <laughs> medicine you need? Uh, Condoms? You a grown woman, start acting like a girl. Well that's rich, coming from a Baby's RS Diamond member. This is embarrassing, dude. It's weird to see a guy with a wedding ring on doing this. Oh dear, here we go. Hey folks! I am more nervous for this child than a one-legged man in a butt-kicking contest. Let's put it this way, with this attitude, you have a 50% chance of disappointment. But your child is 100, so how's that for food for thought? Wipe your face with those factoids, okay? Let you go. 
my sister in Christ. Ma'am, madam, I am more overwhelmed than a bull at a blood drive. What the hell? What is that teardrop thing on your face? Is that a, nope, nope, nope. I, I, please, God, I'm begging you, do not answer that. As there a couple? Yep. Yes. How long? Two years. Two years, yesterday. Good, yesterday. Yesterday, oh, congratulations. A good two years? Yeah. Yes. All right, all right. How good? Good. Amazing. Excellent. Was that a shrug fella? We need energy. Would you guys swap phones for the, swap phones for the camera to make yeah. sure you guys are loyal to each other? Can you do that? I am more nervous than a man with a toupee on a trampoline. His tongue is between his teeth, okay? That's what people do when they're caught red-handed. Psychology heel click. Never right. open it, idiot. Oh god, she didn't even know his password. Let's go into Snapchat. You guys use Snapchat? <laughs> no? Anthony, more like, and phony. <laughs> we know sir. No? What? <laughs> Anthony! Oh no. Why did that laugh sound genuine? Oh god. Okay, we gotta see if they're still together. Oh, sweet mother of shit. Amanda! Oh, hey, Mrs. Hey, ma'am. I am more nervous than a vampire trapped in the Vatican. Does CPS know that you're playing basketball with your baby's brain right now? Oh, hey, guy. Sir. Fella. I am more stressed than a snowman stuck in a sauna. That is an MSM right there. A married single mother. She has three kids and three titles. And what do you have? Three chalupas? Unbelievable, guy. <laughs> Guys, I have bad news. Literally. I have a news article about these two lunatic talks. An elite relationship indeed. You could say that you two are partners in crime. So. So the other day I reacted to a video of this mother-daughter duo on TikTok. I replied to an old... TikTok of theirs with a screenshot of this article, and um, this is a short summary of my response. <laughs> this story circulated a couple of months ago, but many commenters naturally had questions about what happened, so I'm going to quickly go over it because I read the details after I posted the video, and it's insane. It's, it's terrible. So here's the quick story. The daughter was a fashion influencer on social media and she regularly featured her mother in her videos. The mom was having an affair with this young fella right here. Infidelity heel click. He caught feelings too hard. She had been married for like 20 years. And so she was just like, you're just my little twilight entanglement. Okay, I'm not leaving my husband. She started ignoring him. The young man got obsessive and basically was like, if you leave me, I'm going to show your husband our yucky photos. Hey guy, fella. For some reason, uh, the mom turned to her daughter and said, do something, you're an influencer, Just influence him to go away. According to court documents, I kid you not, the daughter replied to her mother on WhatsApp with a message that said, I'll soon get him jumped by guys and he won't know what day it is. They actually originally agreed to pay him to shut up, but then they quickly realized that that wouldn't guarantee that he would delete the photos. So the daughter had her male friends meet the boy toy at a park and he was told that he'd be meeting the mom and the daughter there. When boy toy got there, he got scared and felt like it was a red flag. The daughter's friends started a car chase. The boy toy made a 999 call telling authorities that someone was trying to kill him. He then screamed, the operator heard a crash and then the phone went blank. The daughter's friends ran him off the road and turned his car into an actual fireball and his friend and him tragically passed away. The daughter was sentenced to life in prison. Her mom got 26 years. The buddies all got between 11 and 14 years, I think. Terrible, all around. Um, I'm sorry to make this sort of lighthearted, but you know, if I don't laugh, I'll cry, so. Now hit follow. I promise my videos aren't this dark, usually. And let me know if you want more backstories like this on the videos I react to. I feel like it's sometimes necessary, so let me know. <laughs> We've got a live one, folks. This is one on me, he's fucking dumb. Ma'am. This is one on me, he's so dumb. <laughs> Fella. Doing a public prank on your wife, knowing full well she's going to juice up her jugular is really dumb. But also, being that quick to openly trash your partner in front of your family is, well, 
you know, let's just say you guys are revealing more than a gender right now. I'll say that. Britney Spears wrote a song about it, so you might want to do some relationship reconnaissance. So.